Happy Friday, guys. Uh, we've got a fun Friday workout for you today, uh, which is called Boxing Rematch, and I'll explain what that means in a second. Uh, for the warm up, you're going to go 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'm going to go over all the movements for the warm up because they're all the movements for the workout. You're just going to practice them in the warm up for 30 seconds, and then you'll have a 10 second transition between each movement. After you get through the warm up, you're going to do your 50 uh, swings unbroken. After that, we're gonna start our wad. So for this, we're gonna go one minute on at each station. So you've got three stations, you're gonna go one minute each, and then you earn a one minute of rest. Then you've got three more stations, one minute each, one minute of rest, and then your last three stations, one minute each, and then a minute of rest. You're gonna go through this 12 uh, cycle uh, three times. Okay, so it's 36 minutes total. You're working for 27 minutes of that time. Um, the score is going to be the total number of reps across all of these movements. So it should be a really big number. Um, and your goal is going to be to try and pace yourself so that you can work consistently for the entire minute. Um, if you do need to take a break, that's fine. Um, just try to make sure that those breaks are short uh, and then get right back to work. Because remember, after the three minutes, you're gonna get a minute of rest. So this is just like a boxing match where boxers box for three minutes and then they get one minute of rest and they do that over nine rounds total, okay? So for the first movement, we're gonna go either double unders or penguin claps, or if you have a rower or a bike, go ahead and do uh, one of those machines for calories for a minute. After that, you're gonna go a single dumbbell or kettlebell weighted sit up. So if you have your ab mat, go ahead and get that out. You're gonna grab your uh, weight, you can hold it um, across the chest, however you feel comfortable. Um, feet are gonna be butterflying. I'm gonna go back, touch behind my head, and then sit up and touch in front of the toes. Uh, if you have a plate, that really works best, but you can do it with a dumbbell or kettlebell. If you don't have weight or if that's too difficult, go unweighted and still shoulders touch, and then touch in front of the toes. If this is challenging, go ahead and tuck those toes underneath uh, dumbbells to help anchor you and make the movement a little bit easier. After a minute of our sit-ups, you're gonna go a minute of alternating hang, clean, and jerks. Remember, anytime you see the word hang, it means you need to deadlift the weight first to your uh, waist and then stay above the knees for your hang position. So I'm going to deadlift the weight up to my waist. I'm going to push my hips back hike the weight through my hips up to my shoulder, and then I'll press out overhead for my jerk. I'll come back down, I'll switch to my other hand, hike through the legs, up to the shoulder, press, back down. Definitely make sure that you're hiking through the legs to use that hip hop, and then press out overhead. If you do, jump underneath the weight, make sure that you stand all the way up before this weight comes down. After your minute there, you get a minute of rest. Then we're gonna go into a double shot up down. So what this means is I'm going to kick my legs back twice before I stand up. So I'm gonna go down to the ground, I'll kick back, come forward, kick back, kick forward, stand. Okay, so that's our double shot, is kicking the legs back two times. One more time, kick back, come forward, kick back, come forward, stand. After our double shot up downs, we're gonna do a single dumbbell or kettlebell plank drag. So I'm gonna get set up, hands underneath the shoulders, legs are straight. I'm going to drag the weight under my torso. So from the side, I'll be here, I'll drag across, and then back through. Okay, left and right equals one rep, okay? After that, we're gonna go into our American swings. So in the strength part, we went Russian, which is chest height. Now we're gonna go overhead. So I'm gonna demo what both of those look like with our weight. I can hike, this would be my Russian to chest height, or American, where my shoulders or arms are covering my biceps overhead. Rib cage is tucked down, butt is squeezed, everything's in a nice straight line here. 
After our swings, you get one minute of rest. And then we've got our last threesome here. I'm gonna start with a reverse burpee. So for this, I'm gonna start standing. I'm gonna go back and kick my legs to the ceiling. Come up, jump, and clap. So from the front, I'm gonna go back. Notice that as I start, I come back to the same position with some spacing between my feet. It's much harder if you have your feet together and you try and jump and clap from that position. So just have the feet underneath the hips when you start and then as you come up from your burpee, hit the same position with your feet, jump and clap at the top. After our burpees, we've got our Russian twist. So you can use your uh, weight. Ideally, the feet are off the ground, knees are bent. And I'm going to tap one, one, that's one rep. So again, just like with our plank drags, left plus right equals one rep. So that would be my second. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. If I need to make this easier, put the heels on the ground and leave there as you're twisting. Remember to look all the way over to the side that you're twisting to. Okay, don't just do this. Okay, so twist, twist. And then our last movement is an alternating sumo deadlift high pull. So when we're pulling, we wanna keep the weight nice and close to our body. Weight's gonna be between the feet. Feet are gonna be a little bit wider. I'm going to deadlift and then pull basically right underneath my chin. And then I'll switch to the other side. So you're switching on the ground here, that way both heads can touch the ground and going into your next rep. Okay, this, unlike with our twists and planks, one, two, three, four, et cetera. Again, you're, and, and then you'll get to rest and then you'll do that whole thing two more times. Okay, so again, uh, the score is gonna be the total number of reps uh, over all those rounds. The goal is to try and pace yourself um, guys, I, I hope you have fun today on our Friday Fun Day workout. Uh, please do uh, join Coach Salt on uh, Facebook Live at 7 a.m. Well, he'll go through all this workout with you. If you have any questions, please let us know either on the Facebook Live class or uh, you can email or shoot us a note or comment. Uh, guys, good luck. Have fun. Move well.